the Honorary First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Her Excellency Dr. Aisha Buhari. Your Excellency's Governors present, led by the Chair of the Governors Forum, Dr. Kyle Fire, the Deputy Senate President, and all distinguished and honorable members of the National Assembly present, members of the Federal Executive Council, the Chief of Staff, all their Excellencies, First Ladies of the various states, Royal Fathers present, led by their Royal Highnesses, the Oani of Ife, and the Sultan of Sokoto. My dear wife, Her Excellency Dolly Oshibad. Honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Hakil Sani has written the most engaging book on an incredibly fascinating person, Her Excellency Aisha Buhari, Nigeria's first lady. It's unlikely that any First Lady in Nigeria's history has, in such a few short years, captured the imagination of Nigerians as profoundly as Aisha Buhari. She's, of course, the first First Lady to be on Twitter, on Instagram, and other social media platforms, <laughs> getting her unfiltered views across to the Nigerian people and she's probably the first to receive in real time the opinions of Nigerians on her views. With her views, forthright, crisp, truthful, and once in a while controversial, she has established an ongoing conversation with the Nigerian people. The issues that concern them most, the issues that concern us the most, good governance, security, putting food on the table, the education of our children, prompt payment of pensions to army veterans, drug abuse, the violation and victimization of women. And every once in a while, she airs her own personal struggles, her annoyance, in a manner probably unprecedented in the role of the First Lady anywhere. But there is no question that, there is no question that Aisha Buhari is different her difference has been empowering for the Nigerian people. And there is never any question that her comments come from a good place, a place of genuine love and respect for the Nigerian people and our several concerns. Hadjusani's book seeks to document the practical work that she's also done in the past five years. But it begins with a detailed and, I must say, sensitive chronicle of her childhood years and her growth as a woman, a wife, and a mother. It also highlights her evolution from a silent supporter of her husband's political adventures to an active mobilizer and campaigner who played a major role in selling him to the Nigerian electorate. Then we also read in the book how, as First Lady, she founded the Future Assured Initiative which promotes the welfare of women, of youth, and children, driven by the Aisha Buhari Foundation. The Future Assured Initiative is inspired by her conviction that empowering women is a direct way of promoting the economic and social progress of the nation. We are also given a good picture of this steadfast advocate of women's health issues who has championed improved access to health care for women, especially in respect of maternal health, with the aim of reducing maternal mortality, particularly in rural communities. We understand the roots of her relentless pursuit in these past years of the empowerment of women, especially through education, the need for young girls to get primary and secondary education before getting married. We understand her stand that no girl should get married before the age of 17. It is from her own experience of being married at 19 and her single-mindedness and determination in ensuring that her educational pursuits were not aborted by her obligations as a wife and mother. We also get a glimpse of the role she considers primary being to use, to borrow the expression, mom-in-chief 
to Halima, to Yusuf, to Zara, to Hannah, and Chuchu, and now many grandchildren. Her personal attention to the lives of her children, each and every one of them, and her fierce protection of their privacy and individuality is a lesson in bringing up children under the scrutiny of a sometimes mischievous press. Perhaps because of the undefined nature of their positions, and it was Michelle Obama who said famously that there is no handbook on how to become, on how to be a first lady. And sometimes the uncertain impact of their roles on the affairs of state, first ladies may quickly fade into obscurity when the curtains of time are drawn on the tenure of the administration or their husbands. The result is that the records and lessons of consequence that could benefit oncoming generations and enrich our understanding of history are regrettably lost. But it's unlikely that Aisha Buhari would ever be forgotten. And even if there was a chance of this happening, and even if there was a chance of this happening, this well-written attempt to document her life and times and her contributions as First Lady to national life through the causes that she has uh, promoted removes that possibility. So they offer Dr. Hato Sani, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Administration and Women Affairs, deserves our commendation for the publication of this very important addition to the literary canon of, on our public life and also uh, to Nigeria's biographical history. History has shown that it doesn't matter how many degrees you have or how many titles precede or honors follow your name or how high the position you hold, the rare privilege of public service can only be justified by courage, integrity, and selflessness. To these, Aisha Buhari asks, be yourself, be indifferent. Let me end with the words of Aisha Buhari's doting sweetheart, the man who knows her best, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohammed Buhari, and I quote him, Aisha, as the world has come to know her, is kind-hearted. This made her transition to philanthropy and humanitarianism easy. When she became first lady, when she became first lady, her protective mien was exerted when women, children, and other vulnerable people are abused. I've observed with keen interest as she addresses many of the social concerns that have given her sleepless nights. She has therefore been a worthy partner and a beacon for some of the good things that Nigerians have come to identify with our government. End of quote. And, and I concur. I agree. Thank you all very much. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless you, Aisha Kuhari, Excellency, first lady of Nigeria. Thank you very much.